와우 친구들 짹짹이 아저씨야 시티 스카이라인 2의 교통 AI 개발 일지와 함께 개발자 일지 영상 또한 공개되었습니다 게임 디자이너인 로리 야세클라인 씨와 앙리 하이마칸 씨가 설명합니다 영상 함께 보시죠 Let's talk about traffic AI In City Scanners 1, the agents chose their pathfinding based on how close they are to something where they want to go. In City Scanners 2, the agents actually calculate their pathfinding cost. And that pathfinding cost is based on multiple different factors. The pathfinding consists of four major factors. The first one is time. The agents, all agents, be it citizens or trucks or anything in the city, they will always calculate how long it takes to travel from one place to the other. And this can be uh, the speed of the road or the vehicle or uh, walking or public transportation that they use. And this is the major factor in deciding which way they want to travel. Another important factor in pathfinding is comfort, which means how many turns they have to make, how near the parking is, is there something else that affects their comfortness of the road? Money, 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 money is also an important factor in the pathfinding. Money is usually about fuel costs for citizens, and it can also be ticket fees if they use public transportation. And then, last but not least, is the behavior. Most agents in the city follow all the normal traffic laws, ride on the right side of the road and don't make uh, rash decisions in traffic. But certain vehicles, these being the emergency vehicles, can in certain cases do more dangerous uh, decisions in, in traffic, such as making U-turns and thus cutting the travel time to their destination if they are responding to emergencies. And sometimes some citizens can go through traffic lights on the old greens, so to speak, trying to sneak in on the last second before the traffic turns, the traffic light turns to red. In pathfinding, different age groups value different things. For example, teens value money because they have none, adults value time because they have so little of it, and seniors prefer the comfort because they are in the leisure time of the year. Road lanes, yes, they are still in the skylines too. Now the vehicles will use all the lanes available for them. So if you have a traffic light intersection where one lane is filled with cars now, the other cars will pick the open lanes and then fill that intersection evenly. Oh, traffic accidents. Oh, traffic accidents, that's so cool feature. These can be caused by poor road condition, lighting condition, weather and natural disasters. Traffic accidents happen and the car loses a control, which can also then lead to bigger traffic jams. To lower the chance of traffic accidents, the players can add traffic lights and also keep the roads in good condition. Traffic info view shows the overall state of the city's traffic. It shows the traffic flow, the traffic volume of the city, etc. etc. The road info view itself is kind of like two-parter. The one info view is about the whole city. Then you can also select individual roads and see their own road info view and all information about that in more in depth. And you can also see traffic flow and volume of that particular street or road. There are different types of service vehicles. Some are responding to a call, like ambulances, for example. And then there are some service vehicles which are just patrol in the city, like police cars or garbage vehicles which are collecting garbage. Players can choose from the district info panel which service buildings are working inside the district. They can choose the service building and work in multiple districts. 
it's also a very good feature because that was also requested in City Skylines 1 fans. Uh, it's one of, one of my favorites and it also helps manage the city a lot better because you can control where the city service is actually affecting. For example, if you want to have other side handled by the whole police and other side of the city has different services, you can control where they are affecting. Just like in City Skylines 1, City Skylines 2 also features traffic between other cities in the form of traffic traveling from one outside connection to the next. These vehicles can contribute to the traffic in your city if they find a route cheaper and faster through the city instead of one of the highways. If the player city is exporting certain city service vehicles at outside connection, the player can get monetary income from that exporting service. On the other hand, if the player is lacking some city service, they can import it from the outside connection, but for a fee, of course. Thanks for watching. You know, the, the cliche YouTube ending. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.